Hello and welcome back to Midnight Tutor. We've got a new problem that's been presented to us in email and that problem is the following. It asks, let R be the first quadrant region enclosed by the graph y equals 2 times e to the minus x and the line x equals k or a constant. And we're asked three things from this. First, find the area of R in terms of k. Second, find the volume of the solid generated when R is rotated about the x-axis in terms of K. And third, what is the volume in part B as K approaches infinity? So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and sketch out the region. Let's take a look at that. Here I've sketched out the region of interest and we can see it. So our curve is Y equals 2 times E to the minus X and that's shown here and we see that this curve intersects the y-axis at y equals 2 right here. The second curve we were asked to render was right here and it's x equals k and it's a vertical straight line and we can see the intersection of y equals 2 times e to the minus x and x equals k the intersect intersection is right here and when we look at just the first quadrant of the Cartesian plane we can see the region or area R defined by these four borders. So we have x equals 0 as the left hand border and x equals k as the right hand border. Now k is not specified so this is a variable and we want to put the area of this region in terms of k. So let's review what the formula is for finding the area and in this case it's right here. Area is equal to the integral from a to b of an upper curve minus, uh, minus a lower curve all times dx. So for this formula to work we have to have f at x always greater than g of x over the domain a to b. Now in this case our g of x is just the x-axis. That's not always the case but in this instance it is. So our g of x is really just going to be x uh, y equals zero and so if we look at filling in the terms of this formula we have the following a equals the integral from 0 to k because we're going from the left hand border to the right hand border of the first curve which is 2 times e to the minus x minus 0 which is the x-axis or horizontal axis all times dx. When we collect terms we can see this just becomes the integral from 0 to k of 2 times e to the minus x times dx. If we work through this we see that area equals minus 2 times e to the minus x evaluated from 0 to k and this becomes minus 2 times e to the minus k minus e to the 0. Now e to the 0 anything to the 0 power is 1 so we get the following result that area of region R is 2 minus 2 times e to the minus k so that's the first portion of the solution. The next portion asked us to find the volume of this region well, let's go back and look at the region. So we have R and we're going to rotate this about the x-axis out of the page. We're going to rotate it 360 degrees and if we want to do that we have to know the formula for this. And the formula is listed right here. The volume is equal to the integral from A to B of pi times the upper curve squared minus the lower curve squared all times dx and again this same stipulation applies. The upper curve must always be greater than the lower curve over the region A to B. So if we can abide by that, and in this case we can, we can use this formula. And our formula, when we fill in terms, becomes volume is equal to the integral from 0 to k of pi times 2 times e to the minus x squared times dx. And so we can pull the 2 pi out, integrate from 0 to k of e to the minus 2k dx, and we get the following result. Volume is equal to minus 2 pi times e to the minus 2k minus 1, or volume is 2 pi minus 2 pi e to the minus 2k. And this is our second answer for the second portion of the, the problem. The last portion of the problem can be found in the next section, and that says, well, what if k word be stretched infinitely to the right. So the limit as k goes to infinity of 2 pi minus 2 pi times e to the minus 2k is just 2 pi. So in the limit as we go and take this x equals k out to infinity our result becomes just 2 pi. And that concludes the exercise. If you have problems you'd like 
solutions to, please send them to midnighttutor.com.